Bob in Nepean. Bob, you're on the Low Green Show. Good morning, Brian. Thank you to you and your team for taking my call. Uh, I just wanted to share a couple of thoughts on the elections and campaigns. With respectful disagreement towards your first two callers, it's obvious that campaigning never ends. There is a constant war for political opinion, for the hearts and minds of Canadians, or any country in a free society. To this person, I think his name was Ron, the lady yeah. who called afterwards, do they really not think that outside of the technical election season that the NDP and Liberal Party are not campaigning when they promise to expand this or that bureaucracy or so-called universal uh, child care? The campaign never ends. Conversely, for conservatives, do they think that this wasn't taking place when Stephen Harper issued a tax credit for uh, families with children? So, so this sort of function of debate on issues never, ever, ever. And same thing for CFRA, by the way, and God bless what you guys are doing. In a free society, it's normal and healthy for this to happen. God forbid we should ever get to a point where we think that we can only discuss political issues within a certain time frame and in the in way of choosing of the uh, benevolent overlords in, in Ottawa. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, and, and you know, thinking that we must have a 37-day campaign. Uh, Jean-Pierre Kingsley, former head of Elections Canada, was doing an interview, I think with the state broadcaster, uh, saying – there should only be 37-day campaigns. And he complained about the fact that Stephen Harper had a bigger bank account than Mulcaro Trudeau have access to. Oh, okay, first, on that point, it's not the conservative's fault that the liberals and the NDP haven't been able to figure out how to get Canadians to open their wallets and donate to them. The rules have been in place for more than 10 years with this idea of no union or corporate donations. They should have figured out a system to get people to donate. Canadians have chosen not to. They're voting with their wallets. But as for the 37-day campaign, I don't remember Jean-Pierre Kingsley complaining when Paul Martin, the man that his son, that Kingsley's son used to work for, he wasn't out complaining when he was running Elections Canada, and it was an eight-week campaign called by Martin, partly so that they could uh, stick it to Harper and the Conservatives. They had a bigger bank account back then. Yeah, and obviously Jean-Pierre Kingsley will not acknowledge that all of the money that goes to the CBC, the state broadcaster from the Canadian taxpayer, is essentially funding the Liberal Party of Canada's campaign, <laughs> as well as the NDP. So if we start actually examining the Canadian media landscape and acknowledge it as an arm of the left wing, which it actually is for the most part, with you know few exceptions like CFRA, again, God bless you guys what you're doing, uh, then, then the money looks much, much different. One last quick comment as far as the uh, fool, as you described him over at the War Memorial, I'm going to take a... Semi cheap shot, so forgive me in advance if it's offending okay. anyone, any of our friends on the left. But you know, you asked how drunk do you have to be. I would ask a slightly different question: How much of an NDP or do you have to be to do oh, that? Oh no! Or how much of a liberal? Okay, maybe that's a cheap shot. Yeah, forgive no, I, I, I'm not going to go that way. But Bob, thanks for the call.